And 2015, Walter Palmer III started charting a new course in life, founding the W.P. Palmer Distilling Company with his wife, Katie. Our main product that we make is Palmer's Liberty Gin. They make it in small batches. Focusing on a classic gin spirit. Palmer waded into the new waters, so to speak, out of necessity. I was president of the General Building Contractors Association for over 27 years. I had a job there, and the next day I didn't. Because he couldn't sit still, he decided to distill. I went up to Cornell. I took some distilling classes. It's an 800-liter copper pot still made for us in Portugal. Dist Distillation is an ancient art. It's very simple. It's a pot with a lid and a flame, and you're basically boiling. Gin is a spirit predominantly distilled with juniper berries. Because his business is rooted in Philadelphia, Palmer chose a gin recipe fit for the founding fathers. Our recipe comes from this 18th century Dutch manuscript of a trading ship that comes through Philadelphia around 1780. It's made with six botanicals. Juniper, cardamom, coriander, angelica root, lemon peel, and grains of paradise. We wanted our gin to be a gold standard of gin. The six botanicals, spring water, neutral spirit, all goes in here. I'm making something in Maniunk that 12 miles away from here, somebody like Franklin, Jefferson, Adams, Washington could have tasted basically the same thing made on the same type of still. We've taken all these separate ingredients and we've knitted them together through vapor. The gin hits a proofing tank before being bottled and hand labeled. Palmer's name and face grace the bottle. Liberty is a spirit and it's made right here and it's really kind of wonderful. That's